Loveland Magazine TV videos are brought to you by the generous support of MoveToLoveland.com. My name is Emma Steiner, and I'm a senior at Loveland High School. I've been involved with LLS for the past few years now. I started with LLS as a sophomore, and I fundraise as a team member. And then just last year, I ran as a candidate for Loveland's team. And then now I'm back for year three as a member of the leadership team. Um, for me, my motivation to work for LLS is to really just help others um, make a difference for people close to me affected by cancer and just work to create a better future. Each and every one of you should be very proud of your accomplishments and I'm excited to see what tonight holds. Hi, I'm Maddie Lipper and I'm a junior at St. Ursula. I've been involved with LLS since my freshman year as a team member, a candidate, and now this year as part of the leadership team. I became involved with LLS because of my cousin Paul. He was diagnosed his sophomore year of high school with ALM, a form of blood cancer. While he's currently doing well and in remission today, I became involved because I wanted to do something to help families like mine. The money we all, we've all come together to raise helps to find better treatments that take less of a toll on patients' bodies, provides resources for families, and research funding for a cure. Like Emma said, you all should be proud of yourselves and how far you've come, and we're both very excited to be your hosts for tonight. This next team is on their fifth generation legacy. Team Courage 5.0 is led by Katherine Zerbos, <laughs> Leah Schwab, and Lola Jones. All students at Loveland High School. These girls were a part of history as team members on my team last year and are stepped up to continue on the Courage tradition. Go Katherine, Leah, Lola, and Team Courage 5.0. Like my leg is really hurting all the medicine and being in the hospital for a very long time, including for my fifth birthday. I know from talking to my parents that this time was very hard for them as well, and for my brother and sister, who were only two at the time. After about two years of chemo, I was finally better. I was back at school and could do most things other kids could do, although some things like running still hurt because of all the medicine I took. My life was good, and it was pretty much normal. Then about six years later, when I was 11, 11, my knees and my ankles started to hurt again. My mom figured it out first, even before the doctors, that I'd relapsed. It was hard. It was really hard. I was back in the hospital, and in some ways it was harder. It was harder than the first time because I was older and not as naive. My hair fell out, and I could not go to school, and therefore I had to repeat the sixth grade. Everyone was kind to me, but it could get pretty lonely because of my weakened immune system. I could not do many things. Eventually, my life went back to normal, and I was able to go back to school, and my hair finally came back. Being sick taught me many things, and in many ways, made me the person I am today. I still can't run without pain, and because of all the chemo I received, it does take me a lot longer to comprehend and learn things. But with all that being said, I still have a pretty normal life and I am very lucky to have made it out at the other end. I also wanted to take some time to thank all of you guys for supporting LLS and cancer patients and survivors just like me. It feels pretty great knowing that there are other high school students and families out there who want to help to put an end to this awful disease. I want to thank you for everything that you've done over the past seven weeks. You have found a way to provide hope and without hope there is nothing. Gracie, we're so grateful you're here with us today. Thank you for being the heart of this year's campaign and for inspiring our candidates in our community. Approximately every three minutes, one person in the U.S. is diagnosed with a blood cancer. LLS has invested over $1.6 billion in groundbreaking research over the last 70 plus years. LLS provides free education and support to patients and families. LLS has mobilized 100,000 volunteer advocates to fight for better laws and cancer patients. Every three minutes, someone in the U.S. is diagnosed with a blood cancer. That's 480 people a day. More than 1.2 million people in the U.S. are living with or, remission, or are in remission of blood cancer, and about 55,000 of them are children. 33% of blood cancer patients don't, don't survive past five years. This is why our funding is so critical. We strive to have all blood cancer patients become survivors and thrive. There's a group of team members here tonight who went above and beyond for this campaign and each raised over $5,000 for LLS. 
They've earned a spot in what we call the 5K Club. This is what creating a cancer-free future looks like. 5K Club members, if able, please stand now to be recognized. Everyone, please join me in congratulating the members of the 2024 5K Club. my daughters were team members of the original Loveland Teen Courage. Then the following year, our youngest daughter, Bella, led Loveland Teen Courage 2.0. The experience was so rewarding for both she and I that we decided we were not done giving to this cause and joined the leadership team. It is so impressive to see what all these candidates and their teams have accomplished. And that is why we are here tonight to celebrate you. Like Dino, my LLS experience began in Loveland in my middle school classroom, starting with Pennies for Patients, evolving into a cheerleader for Student of the Year candidates at Loveland High School, joining the leadership team, and eventually parenting a two-time candidate and co-chairing with Dino. As we are wrapping up our two years in this role as co-chairs, we could not be more impressed with how high school students their families and their communities come together to support the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Thank you so much for all your dedication to the mission of the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. LLS is working tirelessly to improve the lives of people living with cancer today through research, policy and advocacy, and patient education and support. And then, after feeling the scourge and the pain that it causes, you guys didn't look back at your phones or get back on social media. You acted. And during these seven weeks of competition, collectively, you have succeeded in an extraordinary way and one for which we are all so grateful. At a time in the world and in our nation's history when so much divides us, and seeks to challenge our conscience and our confidence, you visionaries are inspiring. And you fill me with an ebullient hope for our future. The streets of heaven are too crowded with blood cancer victims, but today you could feel their joy in that glorious sun basking down upon all of us. You are improving lives in a tangible way. You are literally elongating lives and improving life. We have just received the all-important envelope that we have all been waiting for. And now we are thrilled that we are able to recognize the highest achieving fundraising teams for this year's campaign. First up, we'd like to celebrate a very special group. Individuals who raise more than $50,000 over the course of the campaign qualify for our Hero Award. They get the opportunity to link their team's success with an LLS-funded mission initiative portfolio. It's an opportunity to associate their hard work and fundraising with a patient-centered mission focus that is meaningful to them. Here in Cincinnati, we are proud to have six different candidate teams who have exceeded that $50,000 milestone. Candidates that have achieved that achieved the Hero Award, please stand to be recognized. Everyone, let's hear it for our fifty thousand dollar candidate teams. <laughs> team Ambition, Team Brave Up, Team Country Day Cures, Team Curage 5.0, Team Warriors for a Cure, and Team Westside Warriors. Okay, here we are. Seven weeks, 19 candidate teams, countless hours planning, calling, and fundraising for LLS, and inspiring others to do the same. And it all comes down to this moment. We are now thrilled to announce our top fundraising candidate teams, as well as the awe-inspiring collective impact from our entire candidate class. In second place, our runner-up for Student Visionaries of the Year this evening is Team Country Day Cures. And your student visionaries of the year is Team Westside Warriors. I'm 
I'm truly honored to be named the 2024 Student Visionary of the Year. This took a lot of hard work from me and my team members, um, and this has truly paid off. Um, so I got involved with LLS uh, last year when my great aunt Cindy ran for Visionary of the Year. I was a part of her team, and we were running in honor of my great uncle Brian, who is 20 plus years into surviving and thriving with cancer. Um, one thing that surprised me and stood out um, was how many people have been touched by LLS. At so many of my events, people would come up to me and say, my dad had leukemia or so-and-so had leukemia. So it's truly meaningful to hear their stories and hear how I was impacting others. I'd also like to congratulate all the other candidates and teams. In my mind, we're all the visionaries. We all decided to step up and we all decided to raise money for this amazing cause. <clears throat> I'd like to leave you with a quote from Eleanor Roosevelt. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. My dream is for a world without blood cancer, and all cancers for that matter. Congratulations, Team Westside Warriors, and Connor and team, and to all of our 2024 candidate teams. Now, it's time to reveal the total that our entire candidate class has collectively raised this year for the LLS mission. Tonight we celebrate one big number and the thousands of lives you've impacted over the se past seven weeks. Your generosity means more support for patients and their families, more funding for life-changing research, and more hope for a cancer-free future. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The anticipation is really building. Candidates, are you ready to see your class's incredible impact? The 2024 Student Visionaries of the Year campaign has raised $758,942. Loveland Magazine TV videos are brought to you by the generous support of move to loveland.com.